Last time on Between the Studs. I am joined with Chris and John, and these guys are the minifig masters. Feeling up minifigures. I refuse to be surprised now. Seems like we have like a hundred skydivers. <laughs> well, that's nice. And now, the exciting conclusion of Between the Studs. Now, this series has always been very hard hard to get as well. Why and is it? I think because it followed on the coattails of Series 10. Oh. And people were constantly buying those Series 10 packs. And Series 11 was available, but they weren't buying Series 11 because they were still trying to get Mr. Gold. And I don't think LEGO made as many of these uh, because we've never had very many Series 11. It's always been a few at a time. Mm -hmm. Mostly the rock climber. We have a ton of I think <laughs> I think Series 10 got a lot of people into collecting. And uh, at that yeah. time, it was uh, Lego was getting really popular. More popular than ever. They didn't expect that demand, so they didn't make as many packs. Mm -hmm. And then in Series 12, they definitely made a lot more packs. And those figures were more abundant. So these are seem to be one of the harder to get series. And it would be years before we would uh, see this mold come back. The yeah. Cookie. But thankfully they did a variant. They did him in dark orange. That's right. Okay. We also forgot his mug. It says his mug if Dunk you don't know, me. it says Dunk. <laughs> Dunk. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Yeah. We have the Yeti, which was later recolored as the Sasquatch. I love mm -hmm. that because it fits. It works. Well, it's actually not square foot. Sasquatch. Yeah, square, square foot. foot. Sorry, not yeah. Bigfoot. Square foot. Um, the Scarecrow was a good one. The yeah. One, it came with that crow piece, too. That was from um, Lone Ranger. Well, or was it this, here first? This is this, uh, the Lone Ranger one's from the CMF series because it's came Oh, it, w it did come first. The Lone Ranger okay. one came out in like 2014. So about okay. the same time. The gender swap robot. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, oh, this one does. This one definitely does. It always reminded me of Rosie from the Jetsons. Yeah, yeah. 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 I always like the Bobby here because he has the um, nightstick. Yes. Very traditional British. What's all this then? What's all this? Mini figure here. It says uh, 1337 on his collar. That must mean something. It mm -hmm. probably has a hidden meaning. The designer's favorite some, number. Uh, yeah. Some type. They did yeah. do a, a Pritzel girl to go along with yeah, the Pritzel guy, we but we don't have her. him. Yeah. And then this. this the uh, evil mech. The uh, change from the mech from Series mm -hmm. 9, uh, that was the orange and white one. Mm. Um, and then the this blues, one's honestly way better. The Blues Brother, which was funny yes, to see. Yes, the there. saxophone man. Yeah. Yeah, I love when they introduce new instruments. I keep waiting, yeah. please let go. When they added the guitar. When they, I love the uh, traditional, like they just did the violin. If They would do a more realistic trumpet or trombone. Oh, they'll do that for sure. I would love that. Mm -hmm. They did a cello. A cello would be cool because they already did the violin, but yeah, give me a trombone. Someone would easily Please. make them off. Trombones just look cool. Or a sousaphone. A marching band guy with a big sousaphone wrapped around him. Yes, a Suba? Suba? Everybody asks. A sousaphone the... is the marching version. Everybody like asks for sousaphones. I, I mean, everybody tuba. comes in and, hey, you guys have the Lego sousaphone? So John's a welder by trade. He's gone to welding school. This is the welder came in this series. Mm -hmm. Technically, uh, it's wrong because it's an acetylene torch. It's not actually a welder. There you Do go. Do better, Lego. Come Ooh. on. <laughs> now, why they choose that? Is it uh, more Probably because it's more recognized. Like in TV shows, for instance, when they show people welding, it's normally an acetylene torch, especially in like, uh, like kids' TV shows. For, so what uh, would you use that for? That Let's is see. for cutting metal. Oh, no. Nice. You basically light it and just cut the metal with heat. Don't welders flame. cut metal, though? Yes, but um, that's not a welding utensil. Like... Specifically, like people other than welders use those. Oh, I see. You have to okay. learn how to use it as a welder, but it's not something to weld with. Got it. Okay, so it's not specific to that profession, though they always do, right? Yes. It's a common tool I do in your trade. Yes. <laughs> okay. And the, the female scientist is uh, very popular because people like to buy their professions. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's why we don't have any of her. And that's also why we don't have any elves, because there's a lot of elves, Christmas yep. elves out there. The elf was a nice one, because it came with the teddy bear with the bow tie print. Mm -hmm. That was always cute. I really like the Tiki warrior. Ooh. We don't have him, mm -hmm. but he had the cool new mask. I remember yeah. feeling up Series 11 at a Target one time. Please and say molest. It's a better term. I was <laughs> molesting bags at a Target one time. <laughs> That yeah. sounds so much better. <laughs> this is going to get flagged. Uh, but uh, I, I didn't know what the Tiki helmet looked like, and I thought it was the head helmet piece. Mm. So I felt like the the helmet piece, but I thought it was a shield. And mm. I was so confused, so I just put it back. And then I went home and looked at some pictures, and it was actually on the neck, and I'm just like, I had it in my hands. I could have gotten it. Oh. So I eventually got it later, but I was sad and frustrated with myself. Right. Series 12. 
when they uh, price 12. jumped, I believe. The, oh, okay. So this is the price and jump for, to four or five? Four. And okay. they made more figures. They produced more copies. This is the first one with greater than 16? Yeah. No, no. Um, they More of the same figures. Because these oh. were... These were really easy to get. They were everywhere. Kind of like I was saying with Series 5, there's a lot more of these out than Series 11. The Hunt has always been really popular. Mm -hmm. It the came princess, with us, the wizard. The Hunt came with a nice cloth cape, like a furry side and then a uh, non-furry side, which was way better for the figure, obviously. But I, I, that little detail was something nice. And they, I just noticed they hadn't done a classic style monster in a while, but we did get Spooky Girl. Yes. Um, well, I wonder why, because here in uh, two series, <laughs> there's going to be uh, some monsters. Uh, but the pig suit guy was the next costume one since the bee. So again, mm -hmm. it was like every other season. And the pig suit guy is, in my opinion, one of the best. It's just so funny. It can be used for good, good stuff. And I noticed, and maybe they did this all the way back to the beginning, I can't remember, but there were two figures that went with each other. Like you had the queen and the jester. Oh, and a wizard. I think it might have started with series 11 because I don't really see much from the other side, but series 11 had the elf, the gingerbread guy, and then the yeti. Oh uh, yeah, so three kind of Christmas snow themes, themes. Things. things. Okay. The space miner was always nice. Uh, it had a lot of detail on the uh, back of the helmet, certain prints, and I think it, it wasn't dual molded, but it was a lot of colored prints on top of it. Dual Which storybook character that was? Isn't she Dino Hunters? Or Dino? She's the Dino Hunter on Brooklyn, but she probably has a... Hunger Games was coming out. Oh, oh that's the Hunger Games. Okay. And they do, I sense. think they do. They've said that she's a Dino girl because she has, like, claw rakes on her mm -hmm. uh, torso. I mean, it's a, a girl with a bow that looks a lot like Katniss. And Just slightly. Just it, slightly. I always kind of thought that was Cadmus. Isn't that the color scheme of the dino characters, though? Yeah, yeah, it's similar, they, but it, it also didn't they also have the bright green uh, syringes as mm -hmm. well? You gonna hunt dinosaurs with a bow? Depends yes. on what size. I don't know. Maybe I mean, if I was as ba as her. Depends on how powerful those arrows are. Yeah. I, I, if they're just compies, those little pro comps and athids, I'll I'll take those. The jester. The jester was yeah. really cool because he had playing card, you know, Joker the, and your ace. He was one of my favorites, also because of the color scheme. The color scheme was really mm -hmm. unique, and it's never been done before with it. Because normally they do like red and blue uh, with their jesters, or red and white. Was the pizza guy really popular? Uh, He's eh. relatively popular. His the pizza. They, Legos makes a lot of pizzas, mm -hmm. and this was the only time they ever made that style pepperoni pizza. Mm -hmm. It they, was a new coloration of the yeah. tile and a new print mold, or not print mold, but print style. And like we were talking about before, you got your pizza costume guy. So this was, you know, he's marketing the pizza, and mm -hmm. somebody's got to deliver it. That's right. Mm -hmm. I like how the surfer looks normal from the front, but he's actually wearing a thong in the back. It's like hey, chaps. Don't bring that up. Okay? <laughs> The Maybe dark side of Lego, no one wants to know. Don't look behind. Don't look behind. Now, they gave him this classic style NES joystick. But yes. Now they have the new joysticks with uh, Ninjago. I loved this one because you had the king, you had this uh, Flash Gordon style evil wizard, wizard dude. With some very interesting prints for his cape. Yeah. The, the fencer, the female samurai. Even I've... the wood for the carpentry guy yes. was really popular for making marks. The new saw, mm -hmm. the classic style saw, uh, the hot dog guy, which you mentioned a few times, this other alien and a, another Egyptian historical figure mm -hmm. to go along with some of the others. That one, I think, came with a new sword mold as well. Mm -hmm. like, no. And the hat, too. Ferris right? Quest came out before. It was the hat piece and the shield that were new. Is this the first hair hat combo? Um, no. Or... Uh, Lego Movie. Oh, okay. Emmett. It had existed yeah, before this. It was just combo. a recoloration. Evil Space Marine here is pretty. Yes. Cool. Yeah. The Are you sure it's synthesis evil? of the good one. Well, he's I'm got. I'm pretty dark sure the on. evil one and was the one from Series Nine. The orc. The orc yeah, guy. We didn't right. have him though. That's right. That's right. That's right. Even on his back, look, he's got that logo, the winged logo print. Mm -hmm. I thought they would do more with the logo. I in this wish whole they series. Did. It I might have been an ode to Alien Conquest. No, I don't think it was Alien Conquest. I, I think that logo was used. Galaxy Squad. Yes, Galaxy oh. Squad. I think that logo was used on it. I think the king is killer. Oh he's my goodness! Be, yeah, he really has to be the best. Because looking back on it, he's so got much mm -hmm. nice print. Such a it. classic style, mm -hmm. late medieval period king. He just he, he had did the, look a the little hair too much like Burger King to me. <laughs> 
I had never just thought about that before. Just, I now you've ruined it. You've yeah. ruined it. Yeah. I'm going to have to put them somewhere else in my room now to keep them out of my sight. Because that Burger King commercial is scary. Like the giant Burger King. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. you don't want to be eating and then have that guy walk up to you with a mouthful because <laughs> yeah, spit it out. Here it is, the one I've been waiting for. I love this. This is series number... 14. 14. Every single figure just screams Halloween. And... It really lets you, even though Halloween is, as it's known today, is a very American holiday, mm -hmm. how popular it has become worldwide for them to make a series out of it. her cat. <laughs> that cat is like eight bucks. No, her bucks black cat. We were talking about this the other day, so I just priced her black cat. It's $15. Really? <laughs> and we're selling her for 10 and she's supposed to come. We only sell these with their accessories, so mm -hmm. she's supposed to come with her accessories. Well, you can't buy them without their accessories. So we need to give her her cat and then increase her price. By $15. Well, I need to <laughs> check her price, first of all. I need to yeah. check all their prices. So many so good, so many good things. Like the zombie cheerleader, she's basically the cheerleader yeah. From now before, but now she has a Z for some For New Zealand. <laughs> for New Zealand, that's Not right. Zombie just or z just Zealand. They also have the zombie businessman. Old Zealand. Which was interesting. Yes. And it says brains all across it. <laughs> His newspaper said brains. Uh, you had a couple of ghosts and specters and stuff. A, a vampire. They didn't redo the classic Frankenstein. Instead, they made Frankenstein's... I would say a kid who's rocking Shock and out. roll. Shock and roll. <laughs> Shock and roll. One uh, of the best ones to me was the trick-or-treater in the skeleton yes. costume. Yes. Because you got his little bucket and everything. That was always neat to me. The little devil boy. He's in series 16. He's 16, that's right. Okay. I love this series. The mad scientist was another nice one just because of the huge head yeah. <laughs> piece that just went on top of him. But and he still looks insane, you know, without his uh, headpiece on. It just looks crazy with you his You could mustache. still use, they still put a print on, on his face, so you could still use yeah, him as a regular minifigure. Uh, this one has nice big googly blue eyes. And his potion insanity. has the fly on it, so he created the fly. <laughs> one that got more popular than I expected it to was the zombie pilot. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he went up, but he was always so common and so cheap for the longest time. And his popularity went pretty high up. I honestly years. don't know why they don't do more zombies of specific occupations. Mm -hmm. I think that would be mm. insanely popular. Yes. Uh, also... There was a little detail, like the fly you mentioned right here. Mm -hmm. They added the mutated fly in the yeah. uh, series, which is kind of funny. The Banshee was also cool because it had trans black hair. Still, I don't know why they call it a ghost. The ghost head is glow in the dark, though. We buy sealed boxes of these every time they come out so we can resell them. This was one of the, after it had been discontinued, this was one of the cheapest ones you could continue to buy. So they were everywhere. John, I don't know if you remember, but we had these sealed like years, years. after they came out. We were still selling them for five five ninety nine. We had them like two years ago in the store up here. Yeah, yeah. and then once time. they disappeared, boom, now they're gone. We can't get any. They're so no expensive more. now. They, it always happens. No matter how many have, they make yeah. and how cheap they are, they always end up going we always up had value at plenty point. of doubles too and now we're mm -hmm. missing a few spots in the mix of them prices change on the dime daily it's insane so if that was series 14 what series are we on now justin 17 uh, uh let me wait I, I gotta take on my shoes so i can count on my toes 15 15 okay good good people love getting new animals we have the skunk piece which came out again so they and yes. it was no different it was exactly the same, right? It made the most desirable part of her yes. go away. Because um, now you could get it. Or was it well, a different print on the that skunk? That and... No, it wasn't. But I think it was just also... It was a skunk. And it was a cheaper way to get the skunk. Because the skunk came in like a 20 bucks set. So it's mm. still cheaper to get the fig anyways. What, didn't this one almost get like taken out? Or the rumors it was going to get discontinued because of certain copyright issues with the, the shark? The shark, yeah. Because of... Uh, who was that? Katy Perry? Perry? Yeah. It made a run on the shark. Like, everybody was trying to buy the shark. He skyrocketed in price. Um, yeah. He was 20 bucks at one point. And now 30. he's back down to 10 yeah. or 15 or something like that. Because she had a shark in her video or something like that, and it just happened to shark come out people, at the same yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Katy Perry. Get over yourself. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, yeah, it's not know. on her music. I was really mad about it. I was about ready to roar. This one also came out with the... the uh, That was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> you can tell what music he listens to. <laughs> he listens to music for teenage girls. 
well. I have a teenage girl. You have a teenage girl, so you know all this. In fact, she's a ballerina, and when this came out, she looked just like this. Oh. Blonde hair, and she had to get one of these. Yes. Yeah. That is an awesome figure. Yeah, it, it is really cool. Standouts for me for this one was the, I guess you would call this like a Greek god. That's kind of how I always interpreted what, what this What was he guy? called? The Golden Winged Warrior or something like that? Yeah, the Golden Warrior. But, this uh, knight has gotten really popular. His He's shield awesome, is man. very... The, another new knight, which they hadn't done since the Boar Knight. Yeah. He, now we have a bear knight. No, they they did the knight in series nine. Well, oh, as, as far as a new faction, because he was a crowny. Oh, yeah, he was a crowny, right? So, the, although his color scheme is the same as the dragon knights from mm. Kingdoms from two thousand nine. I was hoping this meant something like they would come out with uh, more fantasy stuff. Yeah, Aslan and stuff like that. I'm so, so shocked they have not done those legs more often. I know in they, in different colors. They've used it for the um, stripe from Gremlins. His mm -hmm. legs are the dark That's green true. ones. That's yep. true, Um, They used it for the uh, flying monkeys from the Lego Batman movie mm -hmm. for Wizard of Oz. Um, I mean, just give me red legs. I want my devil, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> devil creature. A nice one was the queen that they did because they came out with that skirt piece. Yes! That big bulging thing that yes! you would find everywhere because, it, again, it just bulged out of the package and you could just see She's it. She's gotten very, very popular. Mm. Why, now, Justin, you're into martial arts. Mm -hmm. Why did they have to give him two swords? I think because all the swords came with two. Unless this guy is Musashi. Musashi was the famous uh, sword fighter, and he not invented but perfected the two-handed sword style. Or, but he's a kendo fighter, so that doesn't make any sense. So, well, Musashi. Yeah, so he's practicing, right? Yeah. Because these are fake swords. Yeah, they're wooden. They're wooden. So maybe they gave him one to practice with somebody. This was at the time when they were putting doubles of certain things, especially cheaper. Items. I like how this guy is obviously the ultimate warrior. Yeah. Yeah, you got the lightning bolts on the side of his little boots. Yeah, I mean. And the mullet. He's. The mullet I, man. Yeah. He's basically mullet man. That's all I like. Mullet man. The, the electro robot guy. Mm -hmm. He was a lot more popular than most people anticipated. Probably because, again, it's a, the third recoloration of that same mech from series 9 and 11. There is a artist who used to work for Lego. I think he may have been just contracted. But he designed a whole bunch of CMFs, and you can find his art. It's drawn in a more cartoony mm -hmm. style, but they're obviously the Lego. So many of his creations have been used, and but there's a bunch that haven't. It's really interesting to go and search him mm -hmm. and find what he made. And, oh, they did that, they did that, oh, they haven't done that. One of the things was the queen mm -hmm. in the big skirt. The uh, janitor here always... Reminded me of uh, Weird Al Yankovic from uh, UHF. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No, it wasn't. It was a. Uh, it wasn't Weird Al. It was Kramer who was the janitor. Oh, that's Kramer. Right. Kramer was. Kramer was. Yeah. I, I've that's, seen that that's movie. Right. Yes. That's it right. is a wonderful that's movie. Funny. And you can reverse <laughs> that. You can turn on upside down was, and have him actually mopping. It's yeah. it's a great. It doesn't piece. actually work though because it's plastic. Oh, it doesn't absorb yeah. water. I mean, you could use it. I mean, maybe it, it works for time. bricks. It works for bricks. Mm -hmm. got to mention the 16 here. I remember this one vividly because you got some in when we were playing tank battles, and I wanted to build them instead of play tank battles. This series was very expensive for when it came out for the banana guy and the penguin guy. They were selling for upwards of 12 bucks on Brickling. But the one that kind of stole the show more recently is the babysitter. I think it was the first time the baby mold was used yep. outside of a city set. Yep. And she's seventeen ninety nine here, but she's probably... 25 now. To 25. Um, yeah. That baby was, I think, one of two now that have had prints on it, and it's an exclusive print and color. It has a bib with an elephant on it which is absolutely hilarious. The Trigger Treater was the standout for me. I, I can agree with that. The penguin and the banana is what everybody wanted. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted the penguin and banana. Forget about all the rest. Even though they're cool, everybody wanted those two. One that I wish I got more of before I started building mocks and everything was the ranger. He had such a good print on him, and even his head was a specific print on it that's exclusive to him now. He had a dual molded arm for the uh, shoulder pauldron piece. And they've never redone that helmet. Or did they use that in Ninja? They've used it in the Time Twins. But um, he also, he has an ode to uh, one of the uh, knights, the Wolf Knights. Mm. Uh, he has the wolf little insignia to keep his cloak up or something. This was my favorite here, the futuristic wild style. Seriously? <laughs> that was my least favorite. 
<laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh not, my gosh. She's awesome. awesome. I didn't really like the She's one. totally awesome. One of the, a new molded dog for the uh, dog show judge. And uh, for anyone who likes to hike, and the get ones you get, they've got a, a new mold for the backpack. Yeah. A very accurate. And a killer mm-hmm. acoustic guitar with mm-hmm. the mariachi guy. That was a nice, mm-hmm. nice one. You're a 17. Standouts for this one for you guys. The Rocket Boy, easily, easily Rocket Boy. We don't have him though, sadly. I'll tell you who it was not. It was not this guy. <laughs> the it high was like, I didn't that understand was... why. It was like, ooh, there's a mystery guy. Oh, this is gonna be so and it was, awesome. That's it was... right. So this one was the first one yeah. and the only one that did not tell you what one of them. Well, they kind of right? revealed it. I mean, they didn't like not tell you, and it was not like it was rare. There was still three in a box, mm-hmm. so it wasn't like. And I, rare. I like the figure. Don't get me wrong; he is very cool. But they, he was I think they down. made more of him than anybody else. Yeah. So it's he not was like very he was hard to down. get. Why did they make him a mystery? What I don't understand is they're already blind bags, and now you're going to double blind <laughs> one guy? I mean, what's the, the point? It, it is going to be very odd. I mean, it's called the internet. Yeah. Know, just, yeah. It wasn't even an extra duck, fig. Duck, go and duck, yeah. It was literally, there was 15 figures in him, so it was still 16. It wasn't like 16 in Yeah. Him. Um, like they do with like the ones per box, the one per box. The rocket guy, uh, like I said, he was the best one in my opinion, but he had a, the torso print of the classic space torso, but in light bluish gray, which mm-hmm. a lot of people enjoyed, because then that could give more opportunity for them to make a classic space guy with that. The dwarf was my favorite. Yeah. Uh, the printed hammer was just, puts him over the edge. Printed arm. The uh, tattooing yeah, on the Yeah, he's arm. got a tattoo, he's got gauntlets. Uh, Red mohawk. Tattoo on his chest. Yeah, very cool. Just switch out the legs, mm. and you've got a Another Viking one. there. The, the retro space guy. He was very, very nice, especially with his gun, the like classic galaxy mm-hmm. space gun, which was absolutely hilarious in my opinion. <laughs> and our first elf this, in a long, yeah. long, long time. Yeah. This series Jeez. really kind of touched almost everything. You got your your nurse, you got your animals with the bunny rabbit and the dog. You got <laughs> your profession. You got your baker, your surfer, your weight. Got the I, don't, I don't know about the weight lifter, but. He's probably um, the, he's like a the, classic you got strong your fantasy man. figures. You've got your I mean, suit guy as the technically she one. can be a fan. Is she a suit yeah. guy or a fantasy? I'm this, very undecided. This guy looks just like uh, a Chicago-based restaurant uh, that's mm-hmm. slipping my mind, but that sell the hot. You know, they're famous for their hot dogs. Another gladiator. Another gladiator mm-hmm. with a really finely detailed lion print yes, on his it is shoulder. A very nice. And man, a, look at those abs. He does a lot of crunches. But this is where they started getting a bit over... No, actually, Overboard was probably Series 13 with costume people. They started doing it more and more. Mm-hmm. Like, two per and one every single one instead of every other one. And this one had two as well. Not like I'm complaining. The Rocket Boy was absolutely amazing. The Corn Guy was a bit, a bit lackluster, but... I still bought him anyways because it's costume. The old 80s, 90s phone. Yeah. That's Hawaii. Yeah. Five he's, yeah. he's even really cool, but people, I've never had anyone ask for him. Nope. Now, here it is. So, this was the 40th? Yes, 40th anniversary, anniversary of the minifigure. Of the and minifigure. Per, for the 40th anniversary, they recreated the first figure that they made in a set, including his item that he held was the set he was in. Which is a nice out. And he was one per box. So he was a lot more rare than all the other. So this was a complete series of either costume or party. So other than the Halloween, this was the first one that was the entire series was a different theme. This mm-hmm. one came out with so many new molds. Specifically, my favorite, the dragon costume guy. Oh, yeah. He is very cool just because of the head mold itself. She was very popular. The unicorn was popular because of the uh, shield. Yes, uh, I really a, wanted that shield. I like the spider guy with the cool spider that back one? to it. Yeah, that one was like a mix from the Spooky Boy, but like on steroids kind mm-hmm. of thing. Uh, he went to the next level. The brick people were kind of nice, but I felt like they were like wasted opportunities. But they're still nice. Yeah, they didn't need two. Yeah, you know, one would have been fine. Oh, three. And the same thing with the birthday boy and the girl. But I guess they just wanted a celebration, male, female, celebratory. Of all these, the most popular one right now. Yeah, Justin, you want to guess? Um, the one we get asked for the most, and it's the hardest one to keep in stock. Really? Okay. There's uh, two, actually, but one's... I'm oh, surprised we even have one. Right? Is it the birthday cake guy? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's the clown. Because of the balloon animals. The balloon animals. And 
He's just a he's, clown. He's just really neat. He's got the top hat. He's got the... Uh, Coattails? Coattails. And they've only re-released this um, once in a different color. When they did the uh, circus, like, people pack in yes. City, they had... But it was a different color, right? The, the colors are yes, still exclusive I think to him. So. I think one of them was the same, and then there was a blue one. Oh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. John, what were you going to say was the The cactus. One? The, the cactus, cactus lady really? is honestly more that. popular than you'd think. I don't know why, but she's really popular. In my setup... I just use it as a cactus. Yeah, I mean, that's good for people who want to make a desert or a Minecraft desert. Just turn it around. It's funny that they, they gave her a... Uh, it looks like a sweater. A striped shirt. It yeah. looks like a sweater. You didn't need to give them any print. They do that, that a lot. And a lot yeah. of these costume characters mm -hmm. have prints that you never see. Because but I guess so that you can use them for something They else. started doing it more so towards... Recently, another nice one from this one is this guy, the little yeah. horse cowboy. We've all seen this guy it's at Halloween. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone always has an inflatable someone, horse. Someone, someone made a mock with these guys in it, and it was just like the old west and it was like a bunch of guys riding down a canyon with wearing these things and it was absolutely hilarious the car was really cool too yes. and you can actually use that as a bumper car if you wanted to and lego babies fit relatively well inside oh really it. Yeah. okay not all the way down but they do fit which is kind of funny to just stick them in there and have them driving and the, the new car. mouse that we got the elephant there this is when they started doing a lot of dual mold Mm -hmm. and finer details for the figures and then balloons balloons were oh yeah, yeah. brand new and they i don't think they've come in anything else since. no they so, haven't that's so strange to me they were just an exclusive to the uh anniversary I so guess. i can i can see this set series going up all right now we can get to you promise series night not that one it's it's the other one with series 18 i think they really started upping their mold game with the molds yes. that they were coming out this one had a funny little thing that they added to it that they ended up making a theme about. The uh, uh, Monkey King. The Monkey King Wukong. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they, they made him first, and then about maybe six months to a year later, they announced Monkey Kid. I, I like the homage to Batlord with the Bat... Lord logo mm. with which is awesome. a classic sword in trans light blue. Mm. That's not the classic one. Oh, it's but not. It is an older one. Oh, yes, okay. that is actually the same mold one that they did beginning with the Neo ninth from series three okay. or nine. Series nine. That was the same sword mold. Okay. And we got a Care Bear. For <laughs> yeah, they out. they gave us a, a rugby ball, but we still haven't gotten a football yet. I know it's so weird. Like you could spray paint it and popular, paint it yourself, obviously. Um, and then a modern video gamer. The Fox one is a nice one, just because if you've ever seen Lego Movie Two. It's actually in She's the crowd. She's in the movie, yeah. Yeah. And this one also came with a new color of the chicken in mm -hmm. tan. And that's which still exclusive. Which is really nice for medieval builders and just people who do farms, I guess. Another mummy. Is this the third or fourth one? And they've done a lot, and they should stop. And that's an odd mummy, too. I mean, the odd colors. I don't... The teal? Yeah. The cyan? I mean, the turquoise? I don't see mummies that color very often. I, I can't remember the last time I saw a teal mummy. You think that was just filler? Like, they needed a spot, and they're like, what's the cheapest we can do it? Yeah. Maybe. Um, definitely the highlight of this series season is probably the ones with the animals. Some very nice animals were made, like mm -hmm. the wiener dog, the bulldog, and then the flamingo. The flamingo chameleon. was insane. And the chameleon, yes. The the uh, Dodson here has got to be the most popular. Mm. Well, no, the Dodson and the flamingo mm. are definitely the two most popular parts. But it, the one we sell the most of, he's not super expensive, but the... The bounty hunter. The Blacktron bounty hunter is just... He is very just cool he is in general. the best. The best figure here. And he's hunting for Emmett. He is. The, I never realized The that. funniest one, in my opinion, is... Why are you saying he's hunting for Emmett? Because if you've ever seen the Lego movie, when they're scanning for him, they're like, his face is so generic. So generic. He matches every other face okay. in our database. He and they show scared. that photo. Oh, okay. But uh, the funniest one is definitely the shower guy. Mm -hmm. Not because of the duck, but because... Underneath his little, <laughs> his bubbles, his uh, ro his uh, little towel is bubbles. It's no pants. Yeah. So, so it, you, they're, they're trying to they're trying to be rated G over at. We still don't know Lego. what Lego looks like down there. Now, one problem. It's flat. And here's a here's a, <laughs> it's a here's a tip for you guys watching is when I open the these packs, I've opened tens of thousands of mm -hmm. these. Okay, I put my fingers in the um, peg hole, and I pull apart the pack and mm -hmm. it rips right open but for some reason a lot of people can't do that i don't know why so they they use scissors and they cut them and when you cut them uh, my business partner the co-owner of our company ed he was opening this figure up and he cuts right through that um 
The towel that, the the towel. Towel that he's got. <gasps> Just That's totally ruins the minifigure, you know? I yeah, mean, now he's going to be showing his bubbles. Everywhere. So when we first got that series, we had one without his towel. That's Still why. sold it. I was very confused. Did you? <laughs> yeah. That was like over a year ago. I figured someone cut it, though, because I kind of learned my lesson just but thinking about it. I like, don't like using scissors cutting these open. And I also, I like it, like what they did with the Unikitty series, where they give you a bag inside a bag. Yes. For most That's of the really stuff, nice. Does that make it harder to feel? No. You can feel right through it. Okay. It does nothing. I felt like this was interesting because the uh, Wukong, that was the first one that was based mm -hmm. on some kind of Asian mythology. Yes. Everything else has been either a uh, classic monster, like, like Egyptian, based, yeah. or some kind of European-based mm -hmm. something. So this is our first time getting anything Asian wasn't open up to debate or anything like that. Yeah, that was definitely Wukong. You cannot say it's anything else. The, there's a number of Monkey King shows on Netflix and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Movies all they're they're actually all really good and entertaining. Mm -hmm. and then you got one with a whole bite. It was so easy to feel up. Is that our first very large uh, I believe uh, so piece? in any of the series besides like the costumes. But this thing, the one, the figure came in one of those bags inside the bag. But this, this piece just stood out so easily because, again, you just look for the bulge in the pack and you could find it immediately. Before was that, it? I guess it was the dolphin that came with the Batman yeah. mystery figure. Oh, okay. The dolphin has actually come in a figure from the newest, newest series, 21, mm -hmm. um, as well as, like, a paddle board and a, pad, a thing to paddle with. That's a Care Bear, right? Yes, yeah. it's I mean, a Care Bear. It Care Bear. It's confirmed. It's, that's it's the cheapest one? Care Bear. You think that's that? I was saying the Egyptian one was a filler. But maybe that one was the filler. No, that's a Care Bear. Nope. That's popular. Ever really? Since? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, very popular. One customer suggested it to me one time, and I'm just like, Can't you know, it. you're kind of right. <laughs> you need a Care Bear stare every once in a while. I just need to care more about bears. <laughs> Another night? Well, we there were actually two fan like medieval era. Like They had the Viking and then the Raven Knight, which the Raven Knight actually introduced a new sword mold. Oh, with more so detail, awesome. longer, so awesome. it was revolutionary to people. And I bought 15 of this guy because I wanted him so bad. Now, they actually put NASA, the NASA logo, on yeah. her rocket ship. Is yeah. that the first time they've ever put an actual licensed thing on a um, CMF I figure? I think so. Probably. I feel like there's probably something else that we're missing, but it's not as straightforward. It's totally straightforward there. Like, the Power Ranger doesn't say Power Ranger on. Yeah. That's actually, uh, it's not even called Power Ranger on the Brooklyn. It's just called, like... <laughs> Sentai. Yeah. Is it Sentai? No, it's, it's like just... a future Ranger. I don't know. Oh, really? It's it's literally because on LEGO Ideas, they had a Power Rangers idea get to 10,000, like, supports, mm -hmm. but they didn't do it. And then they released this guy, and Maybe I'm just like... I... But this was, like... Two years before this guy came out. Oh. I really hope that they do other colors of him. Uh, yes! Yeah. Yes, with different helmets, too. I can't believe they haven't. Do Knowing Lego, one, they I, probably will. They better. Or at least one or two more. I want my full Sentai squad. Yes. <laughs> These are the first actual non non-buildable nunchucks. Right? Yes. yes. Uh, the turtle, the bunny stuffed animal, the drone, uh, even a kitar, which was actually kind of funny. Someone pointed this out to me. I did not realize this myself. What is wrong about this guitar? There's something wrong about it. I think you need to know. Um, I don't know instruments a little bit better. The black keys. Oh, are they're the, the wrong, wrong way. Side. Wow. Oof, Lego, you're, you're messing up. And over apparently, here. there's a new guitar out now where they corrected it. Maybe. It's in, I know they came out with another guitar. It's in, I think, believe the um, video. Oh ones. yeah, the there's video. a video where yeah. the keytar its a different color. It's not red. That makes sense. But the it's keys like, are uh, actually correct. I can't believe that got past their quality Some assurance. Guys just like, eh, it looks right. Let this, go. This was a good one here. Pinata <laughs> kid, because uh, <laughs> that looks like something from Fortnite. The llama, yes. Yeah. You know, and it's just everyone a good time was saying that. Yeah. Blue yeah. llama. The llamas are really popular right now. My daughter's obsessed with them. She's got to have llama everything. So guess who has that minifigure? Lego's yeah. first historically accurate Viking. Yeah, without horns. Oh, and a third color for the brick. And they didn't go with classic. That was three. definitely a filler. I can guarantee it. And this was uh, in celebration of 10 years of the CMF, right? I believe so, yes. But they could have done something more exciting than a brick yeah. guy. Although, I appreciate it. It gave us a new hair piece, but at the same time... So, from the newest one, which is series... 21. The Jaguar Warrior is a very nice one that they did. It complements very nicely with its counterpart from Series 7. Although the prints are a bit different, you could easily, I guess, change them up a little bit, mix them up, give them some differentiation. Mm. Even though they aren't the same, like, faction, because I, I believe Dynastics have, like, certain... 
animals that they would base um, them on. I'm not sure. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, maybe they're different warring tribes. It also came with a nice new mold of the uh, assertant weapon that they used and a new print for the shield and everything. So, love they did it. a good job. All right, so this is all we have from the newest series that's out now. Every day or every week, we get a few more. But they tend to sell pretty fast. Mm -hmm. The pug, they actually... It's kind of funny. Made it in blue, or like a light blue for, I believe... The bones, right? No. You're talking about? They remade the pug completely in oh. light blue for, I believe, the pick... Billifig at the Lego stores. Really? Yeah, we actually have one of those. Oh, <laughs> I hate when they do that. When they make a build a fig that's but it, exclusive. Well, but it like John said, it's light blue, so it's odd. Yeah. Nobody wants a I mean it's not that many people. Something want, for the like hardcore collectors. Or little kids. Especially like now that it, now that it's hard to get there with the pandemic and stuff, even though mm -hmm. it's kind of calming down. It was just it stunk so much that you couldn't get out there. It was harder to get out there to get these exclusive things. I know if Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, Halloween and uh Christmas always had these exclusive prints. Yeah. And recolors and stuff. This series is awesome. Uh as far as what we have here, we got the Hermit Crab, which is amazing, the violin. The alien, the new alien head, yeah. new space police, but done in a classic style. I, that's my favorite figure from the wave. By He's far. awesome, and he comes with the most stuff. I think mm -hmm. the pug boy, the um, ladybug, ladybug, the Mardi Gras. Is it Mardi Gras yes. or is it? I thought it was uh, Mardi Gras. Mardi the Gras. Brazilian festival. Oh Fest yeah. Brazilian, yeah, I can yeah. see that. I think it's one of the two. <laughs> that's what I thought it was. I don't know. I didn't think Mardi Gras, but you might be right. And then, like you said, a new faction yep. for the, the Jaguar uh, Warrior. Mm. Jaguar. Now, we price these by BrickLink. We mm -hmm. price these with the going rate. Since you can buy these now, do you feel like a two, three dollar markup for the convenience of not finding it and feeling it or buying multiples and getting it wrong? You feel like that's totally fair? Yes, because I've been doing this a long time mm -hmm. since series uh, five, two, four, maybe. Uh, I've always done it, mm -hmm. and everybody always appreciates it. Mm -hmm. You know, so you you go out and you spend the money, you get them all, and then people can bring in. So usually with a new series like this, it's a two for one. As long mm -hmm. as they're not trading in two terrible figures, they could trade in doubles that they have for one figure. And that's where twice the price comes in. So these are eight dollars instead of four dollars. Mm. Well, they're five you bucks. Actually. These are five now, right? Retail yeah, five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They jumped them up another dollar, I think, around series nineteen. And people in general, they appreciate it. They can roll the dice. They can take their chances. They can feel them up. But it, in the long term, at you're going to end of the day, a lot of people end up just coming in and what? trading them in or buying them. Would you say? The one would you say people with our talents for finding figs, you think that's generally kind of rare? Or oh. most people just don't have the time or the interest? I, I think it's common. Okay. I think there's a lot of a people, lot of people there do. that are really good at feeling up the minifigures. You, a... you get good at with practice. So mm -hmm. you just go, and I, I have a friend that is a, a pilot for a large airline, and he's not into Lego at all. But when the Disney series was out, he's into Disney. So mm -hmm. he taught himself how to feel up the Disney figures and get just the all the ones, ones he, wanted. he wanted without having to buy lots of the same figure mm -hmm. extras. A lot of people would come into the store too up here to fill them up, okay. and I go in and help them. Absolutely. But but the majority of people, the casual Lego fan, really do appreciate yes. that they can. Mm -hmm. We're one of the few places that they can come mm -hmm. in and get exactly what they wanted. Because uh, yeah. like with people who want multiples of certain ones. Again, when you find them in the store, you can. There's only a certain amount in each box, so you can only get that certain amount. So if you want a ton, you can go somewhere who sells them separately, like by what you know, and they'll have multiples, and you can buy a ton that way, or you, like you can do Bricklink kind of thing. And so. in my opinion, they're getting easier to fill because they're coming out with so many unique molds. Mm -hmm. Whereas yes. it used to be they were all the same or molds. like very small amounts of mm -hmm. large parts and kind of thing. So mm -hmm. yeah, we we do have some video figures. I did not bring them down. What are your guys' opinions of the impossible to feel video well, boxes? My wife and daughter like watching the masked singer mm -hmm. and the masked dancer, and I watch it with them, and it is entertaining and. From watching those, the video is the masked singer. That's it, it, why it's it. it. It's a hundred percent it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one hundred percent the masked singer. So I like them. I think it's neat. It's unique. But the fact that you can't feel them, what do you guys? Do you guys have opinion? Uh, on that? I don't really want to buy them. I have no urge to buy them. But I think it it's better because then it allows for more mystery with it. 
uh, and it kind of destroys, you know, people who want to feel them up. And Cheaters like you and me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah. deters us. Yeah. But people are still going to buy it anyways because they, they're really cool figures. I own one of them, but it wasn't one of the Felix ones. It was like that weird alien guy who was white and blue. I own two of him. Cause the one that came much. in the box where you yeah. could see it. Okay. But some of those figures are really nice, and I think it's more of a mystery figure, yeah. blind bag, blind box, I should say, uh, than anything. Well, what's so good about me living close to here and working here is that I can trade the ones. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. If I buy a whole bunch looking for a certain one, Series 2, just uh, this week, they showed what is going to be in it. There's a lot I want out of that one. See, not you even like the figure. dragon, and there's it's two It's not different... even a figure. Oh, It's okay. a one by 5 plate. Okay. <laughs> They're not targeting us in those figures at all. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are not Lego's target demographic. It's yeah. like the, the mass scene. I, I have guess. heard video has, is not doing that well in general, or people are guessing that Lego doesn't release sell well. Numbers. Ninjago didn't do that well for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, and, it, and then it, all of a sudden it picked up, and they're, in fact, they were going to cancel it. It takes some time. And then it picked up. So the same thing with Dots. I think Dots is going to continue, even though Dots is probably not doing that Dots well. Dots is continuing. But and honestly, a lot of people like them. It takes a while for people to get into things like that. And the same thing with video. It's like because it's not a licensed thing. Mm -hmm. So well, well, it is with Universal, new. correct? We got a. Right. It is a partnership with Universal Music, oh, is right? It? I don't. It's know. a partner. I don't the think app so. they're they're um, sponsored by Universal, I believe, mm -hmm. or Paramount. Well, music. we, we got to think about it like this because Shima went out fast, Nexonites Nights went out fast, but they still had about three waves of sets that mm -hmm. they had. Just to see, I guess, with like what Ninjago did, it took a while for it to build up yeah. and become popular. So they were seeing if that would happen with Chima and Nexo Nights as well, but it didn't. But there's only one way to test to find out. Kind yeah, of but with Vinio, the only thing it's attached to is an app. Yeah. It's an app that I've heard is not very it's good. It's like Hidden Side. Yeah. Hidden Side at least had those shorts on YouTube True. and stuff. It at least had some kind of other media with it. Now we're getting into really hard to find rare stuff. Yeah, and this kind of goes against what we talked about with licensed things. So what is interesting is, so the German soccer team is light flesh, and they were, a, so it's somewhat of a licensed thing. Team Great Britain was licensed too, but they're not light flesh. Mm -hmm. They're yellow. Well, they also made about so, four years apart. Please explain apart. what these were to people who maybe have never even heard of them. Well, this came out during the, it must have been the 2012. 2012. The, their base plate says 2009. Okay, Actually, 2008 Olympics. It says it twice. There's, there's two dates on that. There's uh, 2009 and 2012, so it must have been 2012 Olympics. Yeah. Okay. When um, Great Britain hosted the Olympics. Yes. And they only made Team Great Britain figures. And, and there was six or seven of them. I think there's only a few different ones. There weren't that many. I did get a couple boxes of them at Brick World Indy that year, and I got two two boxes of them, and they sold immediately. And once they're gone, they're gone. That you just, you boxer, I think, is like 60 they're bucks. They're so right hard to find. And they only came out in Europe, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, only Great Britain. Oh, really? I think. Not I think, even I think like it outside was of Great, Great Britain? Britain yeah. Well, it's kind of like how the German soccer players were only sold in Germany. Oh, I thought you could get in some other countries no. around you Germany. You could only get like, the I German soccer You could only team find them in Germany. I was yeah. over there at the time that they came out, and we were in Belgium. And we could not get them. I had a friend that went over to, that lived in Belgium, that, so we were there visiting him. And he went over to uh, Austria and bought them. So you could get them in Germany and Austria. Yeah, I thought you could get them in Germany, Austria, Hungary, and like other Germanic countries. I, if I remember, because my brother tried to order them via Lego shop, because you could only find them in the Germany Lego shop. But you couldn't mm. order them if you weren't in Germany oh. or in neighboring So there wasn't even countries. a sneaky way around no. it. We, oh, okay. we did get, we got about 10 to 12 boxes of them. We had a ton of my one friend point, yeah. that lives over and, there. And they were still blind bag, right? It was they random. Still blind bags, yeah. And they took a long time to go up in price. They took a long time. Hmm. We, well, here's the thing. Yeah. It's soccer. It's a specific person. So mm -hmm. they're not, at least the British is is a uh, generic person yeah. who's just playing this sport. Whereas these were actual real people. They were the people. soccer team, yeah. Yeah. So there's Cruz. Because um, I think they won. They won that year. That's what yeah. it commemorated their It's just so winning. strange. They only did that. Yeah, no one else that year. It must I have which been which one I own. I remember I bought one from us. It, it must have been a really popular team or something. Either yeah. you liked Germany, the the German soccer team, where people were trying to buy them all, 
Mexico. A lot of people don't like Germany because they like their country that they root yeah. for, you know? And Argentina. Then, and then people bought them for their pieces because they had really cool, unique Mark hair. Mark bought faces. him for the hair piece. Yeah. Was that a new color for that? I it believe was so. new colors for a lot of their hair pieces, yeah. Okay. And, of course, the prints for the faces were all unique. Wow. Yeah. It was okay. A, Where do you guys see mini fig series kind of stumble a little bit? We talked about some. A lot of adult fans think they redo. There's always going to be a space guy. There's always going to be a costume guy. Do you guys have an opinion on anything where they kind of stumble, or they should stop doing this, or do they less should of this? Stop making more like as many as they do costumes. Either. So you still want costumes? You just yes, want them I want to be, them to be more spread collectible out. and rare. As much oh, okay. as I love them, I just have gotten out of the funk of buying them. Got um, it. But so I want fatigue, basic costume yeah, fatigue. Very much so. Okay, I want more knights and such, okay. more warriors, army builder. Yes. Okay. People, because they don't make any castle sets, barely at all, and it's annoying. <laughs> so, how about specifically branded knights? Do you like having new factions, or do you want them to bring new prints with old, pre-existing? Like, give us some wolf knights. I give would us love some... either. I like both. I like oh, how they're yeah. making their own, like with the Raven Knights from series nineteen. Um, and then also with them using old ones, like or odes to the old ones, because then you can use it in if you do have knights from that old era, and then have new factions to have them fight, etc. Um, so either one, I really enjoy. I just really like knights. <laughs> All right. What about you? Any missteps for you, or stuff you don't want to see or see less of going forward? Uh, every series has somebody that's just not that great. Mm -hmm. um, the one right here. Uh, might be, I don't know, they're all pretty cool in this series. I also maybe, don't have all of them. Maybe this one. I mean, it would take a pretty specific mock or something to use this figure. Yeah. You know? Someone will use it in a parade um, for like their... But like I had mentioned before, the Skydiver from Series 10 was... Uh, I mean, how many of those do you need? You know, yeah. It seemed like <laughs> yeah. you just you got a lot of those. Yeah. Seems a bit... Yeah, the Generic. colors are the colors are weird. I mean, just how many skydivers actually use those colors? How many skydivers um, are out there who collect yeah, Lego? <laughs> yeah, some of them are. It'd be nice if they just made them harder to get. That's my only qualm okay. with it. So be more choosy on on mm -hmm. who is the rare figure in there. Yeah, Ma make the less popular ones more rare mm -hmm. rather than the yes. more popular ones more. Okay, all right. Opposite question. What do you want to see moving forward in non-licensed CMFs? Like nice. I said, nice. <laughs> um, definitely more like intricate space style figures, mm -hmm. kind of like what what they did in these two, like this guy and this guy, because that's a brand new head mold and it's fantastic. New alien. Um, yeah. Definitely those. Definitely more medieval era, like for instance, pirates and or just like peasants even, because that gives good torsos and stuff to use for that kind of thing, blacksmiths, etc. Even though they did just make the blacksmith set, that's just something I really like to yeah. see and collect from it now than I did back then. Or like fantasy era, like mm -hmm. villains, monsters. Those are always nice. Do a whole series of all European yeah, fantasy. Just, just do a fantasy series. That would be awesome. More things that complement their other themes. Mm -hmm. So uh, you could get a, I don't know, let's say they could put Kai's mom, Ed, is it Edna from Ninjago? Ed and Edna, yeah. Ed and Edna. You, you could put him in a normal series because they own that mm -hmm. proprietary information yeah. right so uh, they could put that in one of these series uh, and you would want to not only buy the ninjago sets but you would also want to look keep an eye out for the blind bags once you got edna maybe you buy multiples to get it you know so maybe they could cross over a little bit with their regular themes kind of like they did with uh it's the same thing they've done with space police blacktron the Black Falcons, Knights, you know. Yeah. So that would, that would be I, I love that idea, and that goes back to a little bit what I was saying before. I would love them to see a classic space suit guy in a weird color. Mm -hmm. So they've done pink recently. Turquoise. They've done orange. You could get an orange one. But yeah, do a turquoise, that do a sand, sand green. green. <laughs> I dude, knew you were going to say sand, sand green. <laughs> green. Give me a sand purple. Bring it back. Resurrect mm -hmm. sand purple. But yeah, tan. If they, if, a tan, yeah. Uh, um, do purple. some odd, purple would be nice. or do some really cool prints. Like, okay, our classic uh, heroic knight was a crownie. Do mm -hmm. more of that. Yeah, do yeah. more faction, old faction, but in a brand new style or print or new something color. or new color. Mm -hmm. um, or a different occupation, that. maybe a 
like the jester or yes the king and queen or you know they they need a, a black falcon come with a, a new jester hat that has four jester, things coming out of it instead of the two a yes. black falcon's jester would be killer yeah you know? yeah Ooh. um or just a black falcon. yeah as far as rumors what's coming up they're doing a marvel series they're doing a marvel okay and i'm really interested to see how that affects marvel minifigure prices well it's going to be majoritively from what i've heard rumor wise based off of the tv shows they've been releasing like wandavision Falcon and Winter Soldier, mm. Loki, mm. Um, and then also the new What If coming out. So they're going to have like, well, from what I've heard, the lineup is going to be like a Captain America Spider-Man, a zombie Captain America, stuff like that. Mm. Huh. So, That's really cool. Um, and I think a, a T'Challa Star-Lord, which will be interesting. Okay. So. Interesting. Okay. We haven't seen anything for the next non-license. Nothing right? yet. Okay. No When's really it supposed yet. to come out? No clue. <laughs> okay. Probably by the end of this year, beginning okay. of next year, January. Probably January. Okay. Because they still have the Looney Tunes one releasing sooner mm -hmm. than that. And then probably the Marvel one after that. And you said they the do one. one or two a year? Uh, non license. It's either one or two. Okay. I think it's two. Depending on how many licensed ones they come out with, it's yeah. probably one. Not too many. A ones. costume you really want to see? Hmm. A Lego brick. <laughs> A two <laughs> by four. Oh, oh they've already done new colors. Right. New colors for the they, Lego brand. <laughs> something that they do need to come out with in a CMF again is the long legs that they did for Toy Story. Something mm -hmm. with long okay. legs because yeah. those were really nice, and then they just nerfed them after that mm -hmm. series. What if they had uh, ten dollar blind bags that were big figs? Um, I think that would defeat the purpose. Yeah, it water it would, it would water be down okay. too much. All they right, could yeah. do like a dual pack for ten bucks. Okay. Which would be interesting. Harder to... No, it would be about the same defeat. Would you guys... I think I know the answer. Would you guys be disappointed if they started doing a window box for these so you knew yes. what you were getting? Very disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. It takes the fun away. Because, okay. like, with most people, the fun is in finding out the mystery of it. Because some people who come don't want me to fill it up. They just want a mystery. Yeah. Or I'll fill it up for them and don't tell them mm -hmm. so then they can still have the mystery. Or I, they just will pick a random one and I'll just know what it is and they're just like, I don't want to know what it is. Okay. And the feeling of... Not knowing what you're going to get, and, th and then getting what you want or not getting what you want is always fun. So you're always like, yes, a skydiver. Yeah. yeah. So what what Mega Constructs has done, you were saying they've gone to the window boxes, mm -hmm. but they have they also still do have their blind bags in certain series. Correct. Yeah. 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 Halo. Yeah. Halo. They've got their their blind bags. Yeah. So Masters of the Universe. They do not. There are no correct. blind bag yeah. Masters of the Universe. You know exactly what you're getting. Okay. Yeah. So they still appease both. And they're, and that is another example of a company that they know what they're doing. Yeah. That's a massive company. I mean, that's... Who is Mega Constructs? That's, it's Mega Box. They just renamed themselves. So. Uh, Mattel, yeah, but it's... Mattel, it's by um, a parent Mattel? company. Mega Brands, I think. Yeah. But they it's really do know what they're doing. So obviously, there's good and bad in mm -hmm. both of those things. And there's a reason that they're not doing blind bags of... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of human. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Another part of the fun is feeling them up, in my opinion. I know molesting. Let's use molesting their packages. molesting yes. packages. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, just cut that out of the video. <laughs> Anything you see really exploding any series as far as price? I think they're all going to continue to get, be more popular. Okay. There's more and more, especially with the uh, pandemic that we had recently in quarantine, there's more and more people getting into Lego, and they've they've got their models and their sets and now they want to start populating those cities with unique characters mm -hmm. and they go back and they look hey where can i get these unique characters oh look at these guys that guy's got a keytar yeah you know how can i get him i can't go out and buy him yeah. so i've got to buy him on the aftermarket got it so i think they all have a very good potential okay i've just learned that i don't even know which ones are going to go up because i don't know which ones are more popular than the others because some their popularity shifts overnight Mm. I learned that with the uh, Alien Queen from Series 8. She was 8 bucks for a long time. And I had a few of her just because I didn't like her. And I got some extras. And I just was like, eh, it's a Lego figure. I'll keep it. She's like 20 bucks now. Like, I never would have thought her to Yet go her uh, bottom slope was in the Build-A-Fig. Is in our Build-A-Fig upstairs. Yeah. And, and it's in the Lego store's Build-A-Fig. Yeah. So that's a common piece. But the rest of her is very It's good. just, wow. you never know which one's going to go up. Mm. Which is... Just buy the whole box and just sell them. Okay. Because you know? just have a good amount, assortment of each, because anyone can go up, in my opinion. 
it just depends on the right time what comes out that year like maybe movie wise or show wise mm -hmm. will increase the price of some stuff like for instance with star wars for instance with clone wars if a certain character shows back up their price is going to skyrocket even though they didn't make them mm -hmm. so it's very interesting to see because you never know and that's i guess the beauty of it mm -hmm. at the same time and they are beautiful yeah but um, not in a molesting sort of Oh, hey there, Justin. What's that? You want to see our collectible minifigure collection? Okay. Follow me. Come on in. Yeah, this way. Our collectible minifigures are right here. We've got them in this special, special display case that we had to order from California. Of course, we're in Georgia. There's no better way to display mystery minifigures. We sell the mystery figure packs all around the sides of it. And we've got series one down here, series two, series three, series four, and it just zigzags all the ways up to the most recent series. And I'm not sure what we're gonna do now when they come out with the next series. Uh, I guess we're just going to keep spilling over here. We spilled over here with the Disney figures. All the Disney figures are spilled over here. And then we put all the licensed figures with the other licensed figures, like Ninjago, like movie, Lego movie, and stuff like that. So, what's that? You want to see where we keep our minifigure parts? Yeah, okay. Oh, you Come on back. The scroller, like, oh, okay. Good. Like, this way. This is a busy intersection in the store. People are always crossing here. It's about a four-way intersection, and people are always bumping into each other, so it's getting dangerous. We're going to probably have to put up a mirror or something. This way. <clears throat> All right, this is what we call our minifigure graveyard. Uh, don't get distracted by the Star Wars graveyard. This is, uh, these are our clone parts. These are not complete minifigures. They're just all of our parts. The droid parts, bounty hunters and aliens parts. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the Star Wars parts. Here's our mystery minifigure parts right here. We've got series one all the ways up to the most recent series, 21. And so if you take a look at, here's series five. If you take a look at our series five graveyard, there's the clown, the graduate, um, the gladiator, and they're all sorted by type. We had one of our really good customers sort these for us recently. He took home uh, two giant bins and just sorted them all by type. Uh, not very many people can do that. You've really got to know what your, the specific faces and everything look like. Uh, we're starting a new random pile down here. So we've already got one bin full of random parts that are gonna, eventually going to have to be sorted back into there. So every now and then when we need certain pieces or a certain figure, we might come and try to build a mint condition one out of here. Now our figures, we try to keep two of every figure out there on display, but all the extra figures are back here. Like here's the corn suit guy from series 17. We might have about 30 of those. And these are all listed on our website for sale. We sell them three ways. We've got them sealed in their original packages, uh, just the figure with no accessories or stand, and then the stand and accessories. And they're all about a dollar a difference between the two. So we've got series one down there, and it all comes all the way up to the Disney and Lego movie and all that stuff. So like, here's all the Disney series two figures. That is all Hades right there. And then we have a lot of extra stuff here. These are all sealed bags that are older from the older series that aren't retail price anymore, that need to be identified and sold, put on our website for sale. So if you're ever on our website and you're wondering if we have a specific figure or not, you can give us a call and 470-414-2208 and see if we have that figure and you can just buy it over the phone. So even though you don't see it on our website, we might have it. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you wanna see in future videos on our YouTube channel, Atlanta Brick Co. TV.